It is Monday, and that means the mechs have come out to play. Uh, we're actually in the middle of a fight, Rob. We're back, and we are picking up where we left off last Monday, last Tuesday, whatever we played last, last Wednesday. I had a meeting last time. Who knows when Mecha Monday is anymore? Mecha or Monday. Tactical Tuesday. Let me tell it's you. In our hearts. Let me tell you about the postmodern condition. Time has itself been annihilated. The limits between days the, have always already. They were always already uh, entirely arbitrary, and the thing about postmodernity, living under the postmodern, is that we've come to recognize that those boundaries are. And the thing is, for me, this is a first step, because now we get to draw our own lines between days. What I'm saying is every day is Mecha Monday in my life. Uh, we were in the middle of cleaning up this attack, right? And then pushing to the evac zone, is that what we were doing? Right, I think we just have to wipe that one guy out though. Well, there's a bunch no, there's a bunch of guys over here. <laughs> oh, that's how we done a little more work on these dudes. Same, extremely same. All right, which one of them gets to go still? This, it's that little tank. What's up? What's this thing got? What's the scorpion yeah. got? An AC5 and an MG. Well, that's just a little baby. That's just a little baby. Yeah. Um. Oh boy, this Shadowhawk is unsteady, huh? I'm gonna need to move my microphone from you, Rob. Okay. I just need to turn it a little bit, so if it makes noise, I'm sorry. There we go. Yeah. Now that's not good, because now I don't have wrist support. Uh, let's figure this out. One second. I'm going to move some stuff around here. I'm blocking the screen. Moves. I'm making some moves at, at my, on the desk here. This is not the best setup, it turns out. Yeah, can you slide that over a little bit, Natalie? Thank you. There. Whoa. Okay. We're good now. Making some moves on the desk, and now all I'm picturing is Austin pulling, here, pulling yeah. like a Tawny Catan <laughs> uh, the Lobby One. Uh, <laughs> Streaming rig. Yeah, all right, let's see what we got. Well, we Natalie have... looks on in horror. <laughs> so we have a fire starter here that's been hit a little bit. Uh, armor in the, the shoulder. That thing's about to blow, so that's good. Um, oh, yeah. What else do we have? We have... This is a locust, little locust, little locust with some LRMs. Those are not fun. Um, right, and this fire starter, of course, is like a, a flame-heavy unit. Um, Waiting on you, Commander. Uh, what do I do here? Let's see. Leg day could just evaporate that tank, probably. Mm, yeah. Um, it's just not that scary, you know? Right. Okay, what's, uh... So, you're worried about Medusa getting knocked on his ass? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, and whatever, I can, we can, we can use Vigilance to entrench and remove stability damage, so it's not like the end Good of the world. Go. And maybe we actually just do that. Maybe we march Medusa up. Yeah, this feels like a good, especially because he's got the uh, drunken morale bonus oh, to right. using special actions. So yeah. the vigilance won't hit us as hard. No, it won't. Um, um, we could go to like here, spin. Mm, that shows his back a little bit too much. Oh, see, I think you want to go up. I think you go in. He is. Dr he is. He is drunk. And that, look at what he's built for. Like, he's yeah. not trapped there with him. They're trapped in here with him. Yeah, look, yeah. I'm, I'm also drunk. <laughs> I, I took a red eye. Actually, no. I took a red eye in True. Uh, from Portland. Right. So, like, All right, let's basically, do it. this is hour 36 oh, of, buddy. of Wargaming. You've been, you've been playing war games all weekend. The weekend of Wargaming, as it were. It was uh, real good. I it bet. Real good. I bet. All right, let's confirm this. Oh, that's good. That's good. Vigilance for people who don't know or don't remember, you gain guarded and entrenched, uh, which now means that over here you'll see I've, I have, I guess it, cover doesn't stack with guarded, right? Um, so maybe that part of it doesn't really matter, but but entrenched entrenched means something else. I forget what entrenched mean, means. Maybe there, I don't have either of them now. Is it damage I, reduction? Maybe it's, uh, the thing is, like, I thought maybe is cover superseding it. Is that what's happening here, maybe? That's probably, yeah, that's the, probably it. The important thing is that we've reduced our ability to take, uh, or that we've, we've cleared not our, our stability over. damage. Yeah, exactly. He is kind of fucked up now that I'm looking at him, but that's okay. All right, let, what do we do here? Let's see. Small laser on you for sure. Uh, what do we got on, on B here? 50%? percent mm, 60, 50. All you need to do is tag a locust. Yeah. Like a few SRM hits are gonna. Oh, the thing is full health. Yeah, the thing is full health. I. The thing is, maybe I just roll up small laser, the fire starter, and everything else hits that scorpion. No. That doesn't sound fun. Well, hmm. 
It doesn't sound fun, but so many other people are going to fire. Like, right. I would say the locust I think is the hardest for other people to hit right now, except for leg day. Yeah. It feels like it's really so sheltered behind that hill. Dump in on that on that locust because I have the opportunity. You're yeah. Saying. So just remove an evasion pip yeah. from the fire starter. Yeah. And then dump on the locust and. Uh, I mean, yeah. alternatively, do I take these this low chance on the locust and maybe knock it on its ass? What's the stability damage on these these days? Because it's already been knocked around a little bit. That's true. Hmm. What are the two hit chances on the Scorpion? For like the SRM-6, for instance. The on the SRM Scorpion? The goes to C, yeah. Yeah. Low. Boy, you could more reliably do damage to that fucker. I mean, I, this is the thing. It's like, I could just crush that thing. Now, you know what? You sold me. Crush See, that thing. I'm going to crush that thing, and everything else is going to hit the fire. And then the small laser will take a pip off the fire starter. Let's do it. Nice job. You just tap him on the shoulder. Good hit. Good hit. Toasted. Yeah, there we go. That's what I want to see. Vehicle trash. Mm. Medusa, you got a good voice. I didn't know Medusa had a good voice. Oh, no. Medusa's got a great voice. Medusa's like the hardened killer. Yeah. What can I do for you? Um, all right. I think let's pop that fire starter and knock it down with with just a nice salvo here. I don't think I yeah. can get a direct line of sight, can I? It seems like a pretty impossible no. thing here. No jumps. All right, so let's just get it into good range. Oop, zoom out, please. Zoom out, please. Oof. Why is it so low? I mean, whatever, I'm still gonna, maybe I won't. What am I, okay, they're both 45s? Fuck it, let's do it. Yeah, you know what? It's the end of the map. Here we go. Let's take those 45% chances. And knock down. Yes, Commander. Decker, what can you do here, bud? Oh, come on, Decker. Get a little... Decker could get up oh, there. That, that, Decker could there do this. Yeah. Decker could yeah. do this and is going to do this. Get, that, get those four evasive pips. Hop up there. Just end that fire starter. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, where is the stuff on this thing? Is it just spread everywhere, basically? Yeah, basically. Um. A lot of flamers in that center torso. Yeah, I should just go with the center, the center kill, right? I should just try to... I mean, how much armor does it have there? Uh, twenty-eight. <laughs> yeah, just go. If two, yeah, this is this is just you're gonna kill this thing. Got it. Did not kill this thing, Decker. God damn! Oh right, tire fire still gets to go. Oh, but tire fire cannot see shit. Unfortunately, there's no like height I can get to to see anything either. Yeah. No, that's okay. I'm gonna sprint. How's that sound? Sounds good. Yeah, hell yeah, get get all the way up there. Yeah, look, look at those, look at the long legs on that thing. Beautiful. Love it, love to see it. Uh, people talk about mech games on, on consoles. I really love the Armored Core series. Um, Armored Core 4 is fantastic on the Xbox 360 and uh, PS3. Um, the uh, armored core. I don't know the armored core games. Are they? They're really like, cool. Mech tactics or mech uh, they're, control? They're mech action. They're mech action games, and what's so interesting is that they've changed so much from mainline series, like mainline um, uh, entry to mainline entry. Um, all right, Medusa. Oh, that locust is up, huh? Oh, the fire starter's still down though. Should I just step on this fire starter mm. and kill it? What's the fire starter's uh, action? Yeah, it's a three. It's a three, so it'll go next. So, I think I just go step on this yeah, thing. Yeah, just kill it. 85 melee damage is not bad. All right, because the Shadowhawk has extra melee damage. There you go. Oh, didn't get the kill. Just 
Oh, wait, wait, is that enough? No, it has five HP. Oh my lord. Just eject fire starter. This is very Monty Python. Limping away. That's a choice, you know? That, you did some damage there. That's not bad. Armor blow through. Internal damage. <laughs> yeah, you should sound disappointed. That didn't go the way it should have. Can we get direct line of sight on either of these people? No. Austin, did you ever play? Did you ever play the Heavy Gear games? Yeah, they're really good. And uh, every six months, I check to see if they have been made available to play in any configuration, and they never have, and it's really sad. Uh, I've still got my discs. I should just see about. Yeah, see if they're if they run, and then send send me copies. Okay. Yeah, I own them. They're just in Jersey. Um. So yeah, the thing with Armored Core that's really cool. I'm just gonna mop these up while we talk about Armored Core a little bit. Is it started out like, hey, we want to make a, a game where you have mechs. And, you know, they basically do that successfully. Um, but there isn't, it's just like a, it's like a third person action game where you're designing your mech uh, and then taking it out on short missions as a mercenary. Um, but then like as the game, oh God, I knocked it down again, Rob. Uh, as the series continues, oh, there we go. Pilot incapacitated. Um, as you can do like three, four, and five, especially, it just changes so dramatically. Three is the last one that really looked like what that series looked like when I was a kid, in terms of like it playing like um, like uh, uh, just kind of a, a gen generic third-person action game. Four becomes this very like anime-inspired, high-flying thing where you're just floating in the air nonstop. Um, it's great. It's like really cool. Ah, missed the PPC. That's okay. Um, and the let's just wrap this thing up here. Here we go. This is what you want to see right here. Um, every every mech has this like they're like a little bit smaller than they used to be. Like not they're not like exosuit size, but they're like light mech sized instead of being heavy mech sized. Um, and are just generally really fast, and they have like shields and then the thing that they make you or let you go do is actually you know what they're bigger five is the one that they get smaller in oh, it's on now. It, there he goes nice work those large I'm not lasers. sure it's on anymore no i think I it's think off it, i think it's i think it's off now <laughs> it's the booze it's the booze hit um so yeah four and four answer are like really cool because you end up being these really speedy flying mechs that fight gigantic like huge robots that are like level-sized robots basically living trains and like giant spider mechs and stuff like that. Um, and then five becomes a slower, more tactical thing where you're like, it's almost like Chrome Hounds 2 in a sense. It's very much the sequel to Chrome Hounds, but Armored Core. Um, all right, what do we get here? Well, we can complete a fire starter and we can complete a locust. Uh, Any rare loot? Yeah, let's see, probably not. Not really, not it's a, all pretty Not a goddamn standard. thing. Yeah. Garbage. Um, yeah. I'll take a part to this. What's more valuable here? Probably the fire starter again, right? Yeah. In fact, you might be better served by leaving that locust trash on the battlefield. We'll, we'll complete it and can flip it. That's yeah, that's true. So well, no, they're two different builds though. Ah, oh, it's, it's a it's a one M. Well, one, <laughs> both of them will get to two, and next time we fight a locust, we can do it one way or another we're going to win this game by becoming the galaxy's greatest locust purveyors yeah look we yeah mm -hmm. great it'll be like pawn stars but with locusts yeah um weasel notes the coolest thing about ac4 and 4 answer is that you actually fight the older armored cores because you are in like a next which is like a next level armored core um, so you're fighting basically the style of mech from the first three games. It's very, it's four, four and four answer are incredibly good. That mech you asked for is cleared for fighting. That mech you asked for. <laughs> Great. Thank you very much. Uh, we're just going to toss you right in the, uh, storage bay. There we go. They like us here, right? We can probably sell that thing right away. Yeah. 
Yeah. God, we're just sitting on money right now, Rob. Should we just flip them all? Yeah, flip them. So there's nothing here we want to hold on to? Certainly nothing. None of the. Well, do you want to play around with Firestarter at least maybe a little bit in this campaign? Yeah. I've never fucked with one before. It seems like it is fun to yeah. overheat stuff. It is, but I'm just, I'm also just not sure it's ever really the. <laughs> like, are we ever going to, I mean, we're going to upgrade our bays soon enough, but like, are we ever going to really make a spot for it? Right. Like, is that ever the right mech to be, to make your fourth member of the Lance? Right. Or even just like be in a bay that we, and not in storage. Like, do you want to put well, the general okay. away and pull out the but fire starter? imagine if you were, like, we're fighting on a hot planet. And, okay. like, you just run that fire starter around yeah. and just, like, turn off all the enemy mechs. Yeah. Like, turn after turn, you're just shutting them down. Is that better than, as someone points out, uh, just tossing those flame those, those flamethrowers onto heavier mechs? Like, why Probably not? not. Like, <laughs> a heavier mech is always better in this game. Like, That's the thing. You, look, no, 35-ton mech, at the, like... Yeah, see? 35-ton mech at this stage of it's the game just not... is... Look at how small it's... it is. It's it's more than twice as little as our current biggest mech. And we don't even have the biggest, biggest mechs. Yeah. I'm going to flip it. Let's flip it and take that cash. Goodbye, Firestarter. You've served me well by being worth a lot of money. Oh, that money. There it is. Okay, so what's up? What are we doing today? Well. Uh, so, were we heading out of the um, Arana Restoration Territory I think to we go were, see about, like, I think, getting some better loot? I think we were... We'd been like cleaning up and making some cash here. There was this intersection, interrection, insurrection, interception uh, <laughs> that we could do that was in the polar region that was worth like bank, um, but didn't have a lot of salvage. Um, so I was considering that, but like, yeah, let's take a look at the map. I mean, so the next, the next, actually, this is not even the next actual mi uh, uh, mission, right? This is still, we're just like making money right now. We're in making money mode. Um, we could go do this battle over here. So I think this is probably worse loot than what yeah. we're getting now, now that I look at it. Um, we can take a look at the star map. Hello, Commander. The Arpo may not be fully functional yet, but she's spaceworthy enough for our purposes. All right, so here's where we are. There's a travel contractor there. Uh, things get harder if we start going this direction, right? Yeah, uh, there is some great loot over in the uh, Concordat. Like, if we can make it over to here. Unfortunately, we can't do that yet because there was a store. I mean, we can if you want to spend 65 days, 70 days. I guess the, the nearest. Isn't that much. But... Actually, the nearest is, like, here, right? 40 days. Yeah. We can start, uh... But we're going to punch through here, right? Like, that is what the story does. Yeah. Well, I'm not... I don't remember. I, like... I remember going the long way around at some point. Yeah. But that was also just because I was kind of on like a tour. Right, sure. I was I... taking uh, my mech company on the road. Maybe I'm wrong though. Wait one second. I think, because wait, isn't there. Where the fuck is. Uh... Where's Smithen at? So yeah, we have to punch into Smithen at some point. Um. A point that I'm dreading. I would say, look for something with like a star, uh, an old Star League base on it. Like there has to be something, right? There, let's, right? Let's actually just peek at these and see if there's one there, but probably not there, right? Token population, no one's bad. Uh, good challenge level, but all right, nothing there. Ah, uh, oh, former Star League presence right here. That yeah, that travel good. contract does bring us to a place with former Star League presence. I'm, yeah, now okay, I'm sold. Okay, and that's a, that'll be a cakewalk mission comparatively. So. So it should be okay. Um, yeah, let's do it. Uh, is there anything we want to be doing? I don't think so. I think our mechs look pretty good right now. We didn't have picked anything new up that's really exciting. Uh, but we probably do want to do another ship upgrade here. Um, 
We could build a lounge. We could upgrade our power conduits. We could get a second mech bay, which would also give us extra tech points. We have to get the power conduits first. Oh, we do have to get the, to get the second mech bay? Yeah, you're right. Which means we might just want well, to just wanna go ahead and do that. Yeah, they even also to get the training module. Let's get the power conduits going. How much is that? 90K, yeah, fuck it. All right, I'll get the team on it right away. I'll drop a bag, like that's nothing. Um, Behemoth will be back in a few days, that's good. All right, let's take that, let's take that mission. Let's take that contract. Repossession. Go be pirate repo, repo team. Uh, I'm gonna say we take the cash here. One and a half is just not enough for me to get excited about. Yeah. But let's mm, always get a little salvage. Always get a little salvage. You never know. Let's do it. All right. Um. And yeah, uh, uh, the thing with Armored Core Five was like it was such a cool change because it slowed the game down so much. But I think because it slowed the game down so much, it didn't feel. Like, I don't think it got the player base it needed to really feel successful, um, at least in the States. Let's go extravagant again. We're doing all right, all right right now. I think we're doing all right. I want to keep that morale way up. Eventually, we're going to need people to, to dig in, and for now, let's keep treating them right. Those upgrades you asked for? Well, and also the morale, I think, Phil, like, you don't need to contain keep it extravagant like right exactly the morale bar once it's filled just means like your your troops will start the battle at a higher uh level of, exactly of morale so uh so here's a good one do we want to do training module here which is they gain i, I say yes let's just do this right away i yeah. love that they're old battle tech pods these are the pods that you do train that you did uh oh wow i didn't even that's yeah. what those are those are from the battle tech centers um it's such a good little nod uh let's do it um so Basically, in the background, they will just constantly be getting XP uh, up to a certain point, basically. So, especially as we start bringing on more pilots. All right. Um, almost have our Shadowhawk back up. Thank you. Thank you so much. Three more days on this. There we go. All right, we are here. Uh, I wouldn't say the writing uh, is on par with Dragonfall, but it's just a different, or I'd say it's on par, but there's just way less of it, right? It's a, such a different thing than the Shadowrun games. The Shadowrun games are filled from top to bottom. Oh, hi one part of high, of uh, Highlander Salvage. Whoa. The fuck is an assault mech? I, it's Star League, I guess, right? Uh, Imagine if you get one early. I know, but just one part for a mill. Yeah, we can't afford that. Yeah, well, let's see if we can earn some rep here first and see if it'll drop. Because if we can drop that 10%, that's not bad. Yeah. Starts to get yeah. okay, but that's a lot of money for a single part. It's not the whole thing. If it was the whole thing for a mill, I would consider yeah. it, right? Upgraded LRM-15 is interesting. Oh, um, I didn't see that. Oh, yeah, let me see. what was double upgraded. Stability DC damage is nice. Five, I think, right? Oh, was there? A double or PPC plus also. Just flat five damage isn't bad. Um, no, I don't see that AC-5. Oh, you may have seen it. Wait, was that? Where was that? We don't just have one, do we? I didn't just... Oh, maybe it was... Yeah, maybe it was in the cell. We yeah. do. We have yeah. one. But where would we even put it at this point? Let's see. Do we have someone who's sitting on AC5s right now that we're not using? The best one? I don't think so. Yes, we are. The Shadowhawk. Fuck. We should have had that running that whole time. It's fine. We'll get it next time. Um, I mean, can we field? What can we field without that Shadowhawk? We could bring the Vindicator and the and the Blackjack. <laughs> that Blackjack's not great. 
It's really not. This is an easy mission, though. This is what we do. Let's do it. Let's toss this AC-5 on this thing. Okay. I'm trying to get fancy here, you know? Yeah. There we go. Three days, and we could Optimal also just wait the three days, but this is this no. is a simple mission. Yeah, we're and look, we're on a deadline here. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's more important that the client get what they paid for, which is war crimes. <laughs> That's not what this mission is. We're I don't remember what this mission is. It's not important. We're uh, just gonna follow orders <laughs> and who knows what it is that we actually Ready said we do. Exactly. Uh, we should level up. You guys are here for the massacre, right? What? What was that? One more time? Waiting on I, oh, yeah, the massacre. I read... uh, we, we called you guys in. We got big mass grave dug for a whole bunch of folks. Need some max. I read mass and thought it like a like Sunday ma like religion stuff. Not that. Is that not what we're doing? We're not doing Sunday uh, mass? No, these, these, are, these are heathens. And uh, you know, they're lost. Uh, uh, the, you know, well... Billy spit from the mouth of God. Uh, so yeah, anyway, you just park your mechs anywhere and we'll just get rolling here. Yeah, well, we're already here. Um, all right, what are we doing? We hate we... to break a contract. <laughs> oh, God. All right, so we don't have enough to, to increase our key stuff yet. We don't have enough to increase either of Medusa's big things. Waiting for orders. Or either of Glitch's... And also Glitch is using missile, so there's no recoil yep, penalty, man. right? Um, Decker. We're going to cap out Decker's tactician, right? That's what we decided. So that means I'm just going to hold on to everyone's XP, I think. Waiting for orders. Uh, I'm going to increase this because still does lots of melee. Training there we go. All yeah. right. Launch contract. All right, so I think Behemoth is maybe still on... on deck is I want to use the rest of this drunk bonus this high morale bonus yeah you gotta you gotta use the high spirits right um a multi-shot really would be better if you were not in this shitty thing though uh oh well Maybe he's drunk enough to be in a Jenner no one is drunk enough to be in a Jenner Jenner's good we're not gonna put him in a Jenner's Jenner. so good it's still heavier than the difficulty. Yeah. And he moved very early. What's the heat on this planet? It's a desert. It's a Jenner desert. Jenner has heat problems. Well, Jenner has really bad heat problems. We're not doing Medusa's it. Medusa's real drunk. He's cool no matter what. <laughs> he ain't that cool, Rob. All right, let's just jump in with his black He filled his water bottle aboard the Mac with uh -huh. a mojito. <laughs> I'm deploying. Uh, yeah, command. Uh, I got a board. I got a mint leaf stuck in the uh, in the water tube. I'm just. I'm real parched down here. Mm -hmm. God. A pirate leader has fallen behind on payments for their armored vehicles and repurposes. Nope. And re. Uh, and our leasing agent has been unable to repossess the heavy armored vehicles. We've decided that sending a more Explosive message is the best way to ensure that others do not take future liberties. We're good guys. So we're repo agents. Mm -hmm. We're basically backing the dropship up to the to the Mac while they're like inside doing other shit. That's right. That's us. Oh, look at this planet. It's all red here. Damn that No Man's Sky patch drop! I gotta watch. I gotta watch the Martian in, in with the you. Battle. <laughs> Look at this shit! It's so red. Look at that! Look at that! It's great. We're a fucking canyon. <laughs> Stop fronting, Rob. This is cool. Uh, all right, let's get. It's oxidized fucking soil, kid. <laughs> oh God! Let's start moving up. Um. Decker, you go up. I want you... Nope, that's not up at all. That's not all the way up. I need you up here. Jumping. Fire, fire. Maybe you too. You can't really get up there yet, so I'm just going to have you run. And Glitch, you can't jump, unfortunately, so... You betcha.
it is sun pretty. is rising. It's very pretty. Uh, all right, let's see. Decker, do you have to jump again to go anywhere? You do. <laughs> Great. Lifting off. I have you facing the wrong way. That's okay. That's fine. You just wanted to. You just wanted to look over there at that. Did gross... you also take a red eye, like into the office? Uh, we recorded. Just... We recorded half of the Friends at the Table finale yesterday. So yes, basically. Okay. <sighs> Season finale, not show finale. Uh, Medusa, you keep moving forward. Confirm. Yeah, I think uh, if everything goes according to plan, I will have recorded four podcasts in twenty-four hours by the end of the day. There it is. That's that shit. We recorded for eight hours yesterday, so. Okay. God damn, dude. Yeah. I've got eyes on and a fucking LV. weird hack of multiple weird tabletop story games that I put together over the last week. It's it's a lot. Mm, mm. All right, Decker. You can't get anywhere useful. All right, here we go. Third jump in as, in as many turns. Why not? All right, now he's gonna draw a bead. Nope. I think your see. mouse is on. Someone says you have to move the mouse on the stream machine, Natalie. I think your mouse may have been on the screen. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, all right. Oh yeah, it's like a little. It's weird. Wait, uh, I'm not sure it is. It's gone now. I think we took care okay. of it. All right, we should sensor lock this one that already moved. Got a lock. All right. So Jenner, sure. Waiting for orders. Uh, could that Medusa get into firing range? No. What if it jumps? Yes. Get you into cover. Just AC twos though, huh? There we go. See, those guys are smart. They brought a Jenner. They did bring a Jenner. Lifting off. Medusa's mad about it, so Medusa's like, I should have brought a Jenner. God damn it, I should have brought my Jenner. Look how sporty that thing looks. It's so Fuck. sporty. I'm gonna turn off a laser. I'm gonna turn off two lasers. It's the Trans Am of Battle Max. Uh, in retrospect, I'm gonna turn off the lasers that will hit less likely. Yeah. Good there call. We go. That's next level shit. You see, that's where we're gonna win today. All right, we uh, tapped. You, Listen, Commander. glitch is about to go. You'll see. You'll all see. That's true. That that Jenner's. Is that the right range? That is. It's fine. It's about to get glitched. That is what glitch says. That is that famous glitch catchphrase. Here we go. Time to get glitched. That would still be better than here we go. <laughs> What's the striker have? LRMs, SRMs. I didn't even look what the Jenner had. Okay, we're fine. I've been sensor locked. You're fine. You're fine. Man, dude, you are in total like George Armstrong Custer mode. Yeah, today. dude. I am. You're just like, we got this. I'm Let's just go worried. in. Uh, sir, the uh, that 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 mech is facing the wrong way. Doesn't matter. We'll be fine. <laughs> Should we have waited for the good mech? Nah. Nah. It'll be cooler if we just do this with shitty max. <laughs> it's way cooler. All right, who do I kill? Uh, this Jenner, right? Yeah. Or do I split fire? Uh, no, I'd say just kill the Jenner. All right, so I'm gonna lo I'm gonna undo one of these lasers mm. to keep heat going. We also got plenty of morale. We, we do. I pop like, this thing hear me, open hear like a can out. of sardines. What are you suggesting? Okay, so who? So do we have anyone left to go? No. Mm. I'm burning this Jenner. Yeah. What's Full my... salvo? No, because it's salvo. that heat. That heat. Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. 90%. <laughs> yeah, that's going to hit. Mm, I'm going to save my morale, though, for someone who can actually do something with it. I'll just shoot this thing regular style. Well, I took off its side, which is something. Fucking A. Yeah, those, that's good. I love these little light, or these little heavy lasers, these big heavy lasers. <laughs> love to run hot. 
It's the only way I know how to run. All right, what's in that? That's scary. What is that? Ooh, okay. Y'all got something big out there, huh? Do you remember when, um... Yikes! So... Yikes! Yikes! Ooh. Damn it. I've got an armor breach. Reduce is fine. Reduce is fine. Here comes that little Jenner. Little Jenner baby. Commander, I'm wasting away in Margaritaville. <laughs> Some people say it's the commander's fault, but I know. <laughs> They're really focused firing this black jacket, uh, uh, Rob. I'm a little worried about it. They're playing it. well. Like, like yes. let's face it. Like you and I would immediately be like, oh, there's a there's a black jack. That thing's a piece of that shit. Piece of shit. Let's blow that one out of the sky. Oh, they have three mechs, huh? And three vehicles. What happened to the, okay. Commander. Oh my God. He should be dead. This is bad. I'm, I'm getting upset. Where'd that other PPC come from? How They're many? just PPCs. They're just PPCs flying through the fucking air. Where'd okay? that it's even like, come from? It's like some from? witches. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, what's this demolisher have? AC 20s, I gotta kill that now. That has to not be. Okay. Okay, hold on. Decker has to go kill that thing. We don't get to play around with people with two AC 20s. How much armor does it have in front? It's got it's a full 150. armor. 150. Yeah. Fucking shit. It has and it has 112 on each side and 150 on the turret. So Decker can't kill it himself. Okay, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Uh huh, I'm listening. How many people on that ridge have uh, have jumpers? Everybody. What if they all get off? I just like hide back here. Do they have anything that's gonna give them line of sight on those? Like make them come either up onto that ridge or uh, through, that bot or through that canyon. This one has LRMs. We know they have PPCs, but those can't, yeah, make them come through the canyon. That's the call. What can I do for that's you? the play, that's the play. Uh, this, right now we're like lined up like we're gonna shoot it out at the OK Corral. Yeah, and that's not the and play. This this ain't the fucking Erps and Doc Holiday we got lined up there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> listen, we're doing the best we can. Does anyone here have the move and shoot ability? I don't remember. Waiting for or the shoot and move ability rather. What's up, boss? I don't think so. How much would you give for a completely Commander. dead serious Tombstone here remake but Battle Max? All, all the money that I have. Which is not that money, so. Um. All right, I think your play is the right play. Yeah, because honestly, that demolisher, like if we see, if we go down there, that's it. That demolisher is gonna fuck something up. Yes, a hundred percent. Um, I would, I wouldn't say don't jump out to the left because that. You think it just goes straight down in and don't even worry I think about if it. They just get someone around that corner. Yeah. They will at least start popping. They, they had some LRMs. Yeah. Um, so should we start trying to take down those LRMs? Is my question. Like, do I start backing glitch off and then having her snipe it with LRMs at this thing that has LRMs at this striker, or at the demolisher and start poking away at it so that we can actually not get eaten alive? Mm. I would say... Is there a way I can shoot both? Yes. Honestly, like, right now for this move... Yeah. I would probably just take an enemy mech off the board if I can. That's gonna be hard, because that one has some... I don't know why it's actually so hard. It doesn't hard. have much. No, but it's like, why... Is it... I'm getting, like, just garbage percentages on it. Oh, it's it's cause, is it because of that fucking mineral field? It's because of that mineral field, yeah. Uh... The thing Plus is... Plus four difficulty to hit them, yeah. It's a lot of LRMs. Yeah. And that thing doesn't have any hit points left. Mm, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. So let's take it me? off the board. Ah, oh, God, I really want that striker to not be there also, though. No, you're right. Next turn, I can hit that striker. Uh, 
Yeah, see what I'm saying? Okay, but no. If you precision just... strike it, it dies, and we just get the points back anyway. True. Yeah, that's true. Let's do it. Oh my god, literally was the last oh missile. God. Holy shit. Okay. I never doubted. Not for a moment. I spent a weekend playing war games. You just play the odds. You just look you at just the combat just, resolution tables. Just numbers. You just let them guide you. Alright, so I want to put the Vindicator. Trust the system. Oh, fuck. Oh, the Vindicator has LRMs. So that's what's happening here. Okay, good. Yeah. Um, and I can LRM. I'm going to LRM their LRM boat here. Yeah. It's not even a boat, really. It's like a yacht. Affirmative. It's an LRM and SRM boat. What a dick. Yeah. Blackjack, can you not be where you are currently? That'd be dope. In fact, you go back here for now. <laughs> this is extremely judgmental and materialistic of me to say. Yeah. But I felt way less bad about what happened to your mech warrior's family when I discovered the only thing they left you was a fucking blackjack. <laughs> All right, Striker. Yeah, you're going to hit the Jaeger mech, I know. They can take it. Yeah, they can. There we go. In fact, I think this is. Oh wait, can I not? Fucking, are you for real? What if that? What if that Jaeger mech just comes down though, and just opens up on him? Is what you're yeah, saying? Yeah, but the, no, but that demolisher. We that just demolisher kills me. Yeah. Yeah. I have to do a double jump back to get back to. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there we go. You're gonna start sensor locking, presumably. This is all according to plan so far. Well, it is because on our action, we're gonna pop up onto the ridge. They burn most of their movement just moving. Yeah. Ready for orders. Uh, so we're gonna go up there. Somebody's gonna hop, do a little hoppy hoppy. Oh, Rob, this is how they get shot to death. Why don't we just walk up and sensor lock one thing and then start? God, it's like you haven't it. even seen how cool Butch Cassidy and the Sunday <laughs> Kid is. They're very cool. You're not wrong. Who has sensor lock here? Just Decker, you. Decker and Glitch. That's useless. Yeah. Commander. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna try to take that. It's this one. That's the demolisher. This back one right here. I'm pretty sure. I'm Are gonna, you sure? I think it's the front one. I think that's the. I think that's the little one who just shot at me. Maybe you're right, though. Positionally, it would make a little more sense that's the demolisher. It would, yeah. Because otherwise, they're all doing just like wild K turns down there. <laughs> they're doing donuts. <laughs> Woo! Come on out, boys! Uh, yeah, let's try it. Let's sensor lock this one. Sensors locked on. I think that was right. I think that was the right call. Yeah, nice. All right. Good to go. Hey, fucking shoot that thing. A lot. Time to die. It's not, you're not gonna kill it. You don't have the damage on you. God, that demolisher is terrifying. Waiting for orders. And you can do nothing. So uh, just, you know what, you hop up a little bit and just hang. Or walk, you know what, walk around. I don't think they'll have line of sight here, but they might be able to get one shot in, which would be funny. Roger. Bracing of good. Yeah, I'm gonna brace. Yeah. I can't believe they PPC'd him in the head. Thank God we had a lot of armor up there. Hey, somebody's pointing out wasn't the plan to pull them toward the canyon uh the canyon entrance? That was a possible plan, but it was way less cool. Yeah. I appreciate that you people remember the plan sometimes. That's nice. I am so tired. Yeah. Also, they kept it like Maybe I'm just villainizing somebody on my flight. Uh-huh. But... Please do. There was a, like, there was an older, like, there's there's a, like, it was hot in Portland when I flew out. It was, like, 85 degrees and humid on the tarmac. This woman comes in, 
she's wearing like a fucking Patagonia like three quarter fleece, three quarter zip fleece, and like he's making a big show of like shivering. And she says to the uh, you know attendant, you know, can we can we turn down the air? Uh, oh, in here? It's, a little, no. it's a little chilly. And maybe maybe it has nothing to do with it. Maybe the, maybe that flight just fucking sucked. But that flight, I swear to God, the entire way across the country, it was a balmy like eighty four degrees in there. Christ. All right. Oh, there's so many, Rob. There are so many of them. And it's so a target rich environment. And so Goose. few. Oh yeah, great. <laughs> um, there's so many of them, and one of them has two AC twenties. So strong. He's a shot on somebody. He could he could line up this little quick shot. You know what? Max had grenades. Elnarez. Heavy gears. Heavy they gears. had grenades. Heavy grenades. Yeah, they did. Heavy gears had grenades. I could take a pot shot here with Medusa. But that feels like a mistake to me. Okay, what if... Mm, one brave person could hop up there. What can yeah. I do for you? Look, this is like... This the is Vindicator the end. hasn't been scratched. That's the only place the Vindicator can jump. You can walk, can walk, can hop up to here. Now that's a move. Yeah. But that's a bad move. What if I just peek? Peekaboo. Is there a peekaboo spot? Not really, no. I no, mean, dude. It's a great move. It's a terrible move. It's a terrible Could move. Could be a good move. Could be bold. Could be bold. We'll have four pips. We'll like, see think everybody. Think about it this way. Like, hear me out. I'm listening. Decker takes to the skies lands. Ah, oh, vigilant. Vigilant Decker is taking the high ground. He's shooting. He's blazing away with his uh -huh, guns. I'm listening. He has plus one initiative and the entrenched value. Yeah. So he's hard. He's harder to hit. Even if he does get hit, he's not going to take much damage. Because he's just a And badass. he's got line of sight on right. fucking everybody. And, and he's going to move up. early and hop back down. He would move early and hop back down. You're not wrong about that. But that first turn here is just going to be hell. We could reserve until turn one and go last. Hmm. They have so many things moving. Look, I mean, honestly, if you just want, if you want to play this by the numbers, yeah, we just fall back yeah. and let them and let file, them file through. through. Canyon. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's play it by the numbers. Can you face the right way, please, Medusa? Thank you. Oh man, people are pointing out this game has a reserve mechanic that I am so exhausted I've completely yes, forgotten I, about. Yes, I, you not only forgot about it, I mentioned it a second ago. Yeah. Can but we... I was trying to roleplay Decker. I get it, to death. I get it. Copy that. It's the first time I've ever used the speed up the animation function. Waiting for orders. I can't bear to... Watch my, my brave soldiers retreat. Got it. All right, let them come. Let's see what happens. It's a sensor lock. There's no cover back here. That's no good. Lady's gonna take a hit. It's fine. It's fine. Braced. Ha! Send me a real opponent. Thanks, Glitch. They're about to do exactly that, in fact. We'll see. They may be content to just do this. Nice try. <laughs> God. 
Oh, glitch. They may not come into the canyon at all. They may just come yeah. over the ridge, right? But that's the what, ridge still works for us. Yeah, the ridge is still fine. And this one is absolutely coming. Mm. Come on, get up there. Yeah. And this turn, let's reserve this. Let's reserve out. Yeah. Make him move. What? It's a striker, I think, just crashing through stuff. Turn the corner. Damn it. Reserve. There we go. Here comes the demolisher. Now we're gonna see some shit. They no, okay. We're well, now we're not gonna see some shit. Uh, I'm gonna Already I'm gonna cool. sensor lock that that. Well, could you actually just walk somebody to within line of sight of that vehicle to turn the corner? Maybe. That feels like somebody should be able to walk over there and see that fucker. Someone can. Decker can walk up and get. Can get it within sensor range. It looked like to me, but not yeah, actually line of sight. Yeah, in direct line of sight. Yeah. Um. I think that works though. For yeah, but purposes. but like, why not? just do the sensor lock to burn something off of the demolisher, which is the thing I'm actually scared of, and then shoot it. I've got a sensor yeah. lock. I'm way more scared of that fucking thing. And also, whatever this is? Oh, that, is that the PPC and I think so. Boat? I think it is. Um, but hey, we can, you, shoot, we can shoot this fucking thing now. Can I get to like a... Is that unbroken? Yeah, 90s. There we go. Please fuck this thing up. Got it. All right, those are all good hits. This tire fire can't do shit. Boy, it was the first time I've ever been like, I wish there was Overwatch in this game, but here we are. I probably should be moving just to get some pips. Yeah, but I, I can't reserve again, right? I can't reserve. If you reserve through the entire turn, it doesn't flip you to be a higher right. initiative phase. You don't get to go first still. Uh, I'm gonna try this reserve trick again, I think. As they continue to just wander aimlessly. Oh my god, they're retreating. They're they're moving back. We're really putting on a show for the people back Yeah, uh-huh. Got it. You know what crowds would have loved. What's that? Receiving you. Uh, you know, Decker just getting up there on that turnbuckle. Uh-huh. Love it. Just hop on up, Deck. Take a shot at some bullshit. Get destroyed by an AC-20. I get you. So far, this plan of, of Decker locking up this thing and then glitch shooting it is working. I'm going to keep that plan going for now. Moving to position. I admire your patience. I'm, I'm being very patient. We haven't lost any of our crew yet. The soldiers under your command are lucky to have you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I don't remember which one of these is the thing. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember. Rob, I don't remember. There's one of these. You're looking for the vehicle. Is that, there's three of them. There's one, two, three. Okay. Well, so the thing you need to understand about this is actually the guy's taking the demolisher off the table entirely. It's not under any of those shells. Fuck. They've swapped out the demolisher with a striker. I don't think it's this one, but I'm committing. On. That's a mana core. That's fine. We'll shoot that thing too. Fuck it. Yes, Commander. How's Glitch's ammo going? Good. Glitch's ammo is great, honestly. Yeah, we loaded her up. Oh my god, there's so much fucking... Everything here. Uh -huh. Those like all hit front, which was nice at least. Yeah. You know, it'd be a. Waiting for order. I need to stop offering terrible ideas. Please do. Okay, how about this? 
Because that's still broken line of sight with everything but that. Do you see this? Yeah. Yeah. I'm doing it. I briefly saw those, too. I wish I would have written down who was where. All right. Let's fuck this mana core up. I agree. In fact, do we precision strike it? 52% uh, up, up top. I don't think he has the damage, does he? Yeah, I don't Because it's have what? It's it. 166 that we need? 25? Mm, no, he's just shy. God damn it. So not worth it. I mean, it could be if he could for sure hit it all on the side. But those are both 44%. Mm. I think you just take the, like, take the shot and then if there's a soft part of the armor, on the somebody else on the, the yeah. 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 All right, let's hit him. Yeah, opened up that side. Boy, do I wish that I could actually hit it now with anything, but I can't, so that's good. Next turn, though, it's, it's toast. And we'll go before it next turn, because it's a first turn move. So yeah, that thing's toast. All right, nice. Uh, let's keep on walking around a little bit, embracing. People with LRMs have them at, have already gone this turn, so. Oh, here we go. Locust moving in. Oh, Locust, you don't know what this is. That Locust is team player. That Locust, like, <laughs> like <laughs> they need a little help with their plan. I'll help them out. So I was like, look, we need eyes over that ridge. You Ooh. may not come back. Oh, they got a Panther? All right. That's, that explains some of the PPCs. All right, it's our turn to kill these things. There we go. Split fire, fuck them up. So actually, which side is this gonna be on? Is that gonna be on the right side? Mm. Maybe I just precision strike and take this thing out. I don't want this thing to be up. Uh, you know what, no, Glitch can do this. Glitch can do this. Board over should you get glitched into a better position. Here we go. Yeah, okay. Coordinates received. I did say it was it would be a cakewalk, and so far it's it's been more like a like a some sort of cheesecake walk. I don't know what that means. Yeah. Makes it provocative. Um I want to take that panther off the board, too. Let's do this. What's this magic LRM do? Couldn't say. But let's do this. Put that laser and the... You know what? I bet one LRM is going to get the job done. Ones? Yeah, it may have been. Really, none of those hit the thing? One did, one did. Okay, great. All right, that did great though. All right. Yes, Commander. Medusa, what do you, you know, Ready Medusa forward. doesn't have the thing that Medusa normally has because we fucking walked up and did this mission instead of not doing this mission, like fools. Commander. Um, all right, let's see if, if Decker can get the kill on this Panther. What do you say? Yeah. Actually, probably can't get the kill on that panther. Yeah, panther's doing pretty well. Uh-huh. Thanks, Rob. I appreciate it. Might be able to torch that thing's arm, though. I mean, we could probably actually punch a hole right through this whole locust, but I'm not as afraid of the locust. I mean, either one of them that lives is going to get eaten up by tire fire, probably. Yeah. The right arm is the one I actually wanted to hit. Uh, what kind of damage can I do? Let's see. Um, 
So I need to do one uh, math real quick. Well, da, 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 55 is 110, and then like 112 damage here. No, that's more than that. More than that. Uh, 100. And... Why am I blanking now? Uh, no, 112 is is right. I think. Um, yeah, that's right. Or is it 122? Regardless, I don't think I have it with just him. I guess I could. Hmm. 117, thank you, I was off by five. Mass is bad. Bad, bad mass time. So maybe I do hit the locust then. Can I just ace the locust? This would just destroy this locust outright. I just don't like. I'm not particularly moved by any of these options. No, like, me either. They're they're all fine. They're um, fine. So here's the thing. This will probably knock the panther from stability if it hits it. So let's do that. Let's just in fact aim at that and just take a regular shot and save our morale. Target confirmed. Hit it in the fucking leg. That's not what I wanted. That didn't knock it. God damn it. God damn it, me. All right, let's see if this, see if I can get a better shot here in cover with a little bit of, yeah, okay. On it. Yeah, I'm not too worried about the locust. Tire fire is just gonna destroy that locust, I think. Um, yeah, I know I'm gonna overheat here. Fuck. I should just take this kill. And turn off heat as best I can. I'll leave one on. Yeah. Wait, did it not let me t target, or did I already target? There we go. Okay. Engaging with target. All right. Whew. Oh, it's on now. <laughs> Enemy vehicle destroyed. All right. I think Medusa's about to get smacked. Oh, it didn't. Okay, tire fire. Go fuck up one of these things, please. Maybe both of them. Let's see. I'm so much more scared of this panther. So hold on. What's um? Where's the carry PP say? Yeah, uh, right arm, which is almost fucked. Like, we could just yeah. take that off 100%, but I think we could also probably just core it at this point. We might just get it, yeah. Yeah. With with all these lasers? All of them. Because that's, what is that? That's 120? That's more than enough to, to punch through. Yeah. 33% uh, isn't great, though. Uh, let's take the shot. All, all right, well, we got rid of the PPC. There we go. And yeah, that, we took off both of its arms. Those large lasers are so good now. Oh, I love it. I love it's a little, it seems to be frowning. It is. It's like, oh. Oh. If I have to give you the role play reason for our sloppy play, I think it's because Tire Fire as commander got into, into Medusa's stash. I thought stash like mustache, and I got <laughs> real confused. Listen, we had a good night last night, shit. So I must groom you. Hey, uh, yeah, you know, I got this little comb. You bring the comb, I got the oil. Oh my god. Yeah, shoot at the Jaeger mech, please, please. Show me what you can do. I'm not doing it, but I could, and that makes me feel powerful. Waiting for orders. What else we got? So we have Panther is not a problem at this point. Oh, there's a second Panther. Second Panther popped up. Good to go. Still not afraid of that little locust, especially at this range. 
here. Can you get that thing with it? No, you can't. Mm. And Decker, you can't punch that thing? God damn it, Decker. Waters. All right, so the panther has literally nothing it can do. That one, anyway. Yeah. Let's hit this other one. Start in on it. But not from there, because from there, you can be seen by that other shit. These aren't great shots, but... Let's start burning away that thing. Vigilance doesn't get rid of heat, right? That's the thing I really want to do is and braces the thing yeah. that does that, right? No, no brace does, nothing yeah, brace. does that. Does brace do that? No, brace does heat. Or it does just because you're ending your turn, right? But it doesn't do like extra heat. Wait, no, I thought bra brace the. Uh -uh. Did they change that? I don't think so. I think we're just misremembering. Brace increased your sink. I thought it did too, but I don't think so. All right, that panther is going to try to run and kick something. Oh, this poor panther. It should eject. There's no, it shouldn't be allowed to do this. I feel like this is like a war situation, like a war rules. Okay, people are saying, I just, I completely, I what guess, I like, I completely misremembered that, uh, how Brace worked. Brace never. Really? Okay. Brace never dumped anything beyond, uh, normal heat. Huh. Well, this is mostly direct, so I'm gonna do this. Don't need to tell me twice. Got it. There we go. Commander. And Decker, can you knock that thing over maybe? What, what do you got? What can you do? What can you do for me? Nothing? Oh, Decker can, can core this thing. Let's do it, Deck. Firing. You missed the core. Great. Good. Great and good. Oh my god. How afraid should I be of this panther that doesn't have arms or legs? It has legs, I guess. I wouldn't sweat it. Yeah, let it swing. I'm gonna march tire fire up and shoot something here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna, it'll, hopefully it'll come try to kick me. That'll be fun. Um, yeah, turn off one of these. I should have waited for that precision strike until this. No kill, or no, uh, didn't knock off it. Oh my God, that one has two. God damn it. It's all right, it's fine. For our next mission, we really got to tighten it up. Oh, yikes. Okay, that demolisher's still on the board. I'd forgotten about that one. Oh. Totally good. Totally good. Look at the heat on that thing. My armor. All right, what do you got, Panther? Where are you coming for? No one. Oh, Panther. <laughs> 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 There's a long-term play here. I get it. Yes, Commander. All right, am I... Am I contractually obliged to go step on this thing? You gotta step, you gotta step on it. I got it, right? That's the rule? It's like that no is... damage, actually. This is a bad step. It's a 40 damage step. It's not even worth it. What's up, boss? What I should actually do is just go walk down here and shoot this thing, I think. Stay on this panther. So this is getting messy. The lines, the lines, as it were, have, have gotten all weird. You know? Yeah. Um, I think I knocked down this this panther with glitch. When we take it from there. All 
right, there goes the... There we yep. go. There okay. we go. Yep. There we go. That's a lot. That's a lot. And a knockdown. <laughs> Which means we can spend the rest of this turn cleaning up these little mechs near me. And getting people away from shit. So, like, I can, for instance, hop back here to break line of sight with that demolisher, I think. What if you hopped forward? And landed on the locust. <laughs> no. Down low. Too slow. <laughs> could, could shoot at that panther's core, I guess, but... Just as well to shoot this thing in the back, right? Yeah. I don't want to overheat. This sucks. Ugh. All right. Just shoot this thing in the back and do some damage, please. Fire. You missed. You missed. Okay. That last one blew right through that. The rear armor. That's that's fun. If I hit it in the chest, I kill it. Yep. I think you gotta do it. Well, also, I don't know how damaged that pilot is. There you go. Yeah. Look at you, Decker. Bye. Panther gets up, right? Doesn't have anything. It literally, they they literally just saw the other panther in this condition get kicked to death. Just stop, bud. Just don't do it anymore. They're really dedicated. They really are. Yep, uh-huh. <laughs> oh my god. Enemy mech destroyed. All right, so they have one mech left and three vehicles. I'm still a little afraid of that demolisher, but it's gonna have to get closer. And if we could just rush it and step on it, that would be right. Great. Yeah, it's fine. I'm good. Panther, what are you... You... <laughs> Rob, it just lined itself up to It just to be wants kicked. to be ended. <laughs> it's just like, please. <laughs> I'm just going to kick it again with that basically with Decker. basically the end of Last of the Mohicans. This is so... Just, you know what? This can... I'm ready I to miss. Oh no! <laughs> this is so sad. Alexa, I'm playing Despacito. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Waiting on you, Commander. Can anyone else punch it Good to go. this turn? No. Standing by. I'm gonna jump down there and AC to it. Roger. With 35%. God damn it. There you go. Okay. That's a kill. Literally in the <laughs> exact same spot. Oh. Piling up. Just, yep. I hear ya. All right, so here's what I want you to do, Glitch. I want you to sensor lock that demolisher, please. Actually, it'll have to move still this turn, right? So maybe I don't want that. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna. Ah, fuck it. Let's do it. Gotta lock. <laughs> Anubis twenty k says maybe this is the game trying to give you a panther mech. They've got a lock on me.
God. Uh, I'm going to reserve until it moves. That's what I'm going to do. Because I want it to come in as close as it can to me this turn. Now I'm going to sprint tire fire out there. This is, a, this is a real risky situation, but I think I have to do it this way. Okay. Yeah. I support this. Oh, boy. You know, I'm not going to lie. I thought this would be an easier mission. And that we'd get yeah. for it. And now I kind of regret not taking more salvage. Because there'd be a lot of shit on this battlefield. Yeah, there is. Like, the AC-20 alone yeah. would be worth almost the value of this contract. You're not wrong. All right. Let's hit this goddamn thing. Roger. There you go. Good hits. What do you need? Uh, cannot get to a shot, huh? No. Okay, just move up. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, reserve with glitch so that she can move against this this uh, so she can shoot next turn or this turn against this uh, demolisher. All right, that wasn't bad. A oh, tire fire can't get close enough to do a. Tire fire can't see it, so so she or, uh, so they can't uh, do this, do a death from above or a melee. Great, that's okay. This is gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. I'm gonna walk up. I'm gonna walk up and then. Oh boy. Okay. Fifty-two percent up front. Uh, 80, 90, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Please hit. It was not a great round. It was not an ideal round, I'm gonna say. But hopefully, hopefully, glitch. I can glitch a win on. is a win. Right. That's what I always say. You're playing this engagement like one of those guys who's still like, I don't like this new passing NFL. <laughs> Give me four yards and a cloud of dust any day. Tell me what to shoot. Oh, uh, we punched through and it's about to punch through me. Here we go, let's see. Cross your fingers, no headshots. How much are you gonna cost me this turn? Two misses, what's good? God, you know what this is? This is like a little mini battle of Tukayid. <laughs> Can you explain? No, because spoilers. <laughs> okay. Only 90s Battletech kids will understand that reference. <laughs> uh, I just love that you have it in your back pocket ready to pull out. You know? Standing by. Decker, now is your moment. You are the one who killed the Demolisher. Never let them forget it. Make it, make it true. Make it happen. Fuck this damn thing up. All right, you missed the PPC, but you did what you needed to do. Reporting, enemy vehicle eliminated. Orders. Confirm. Oh, I sprinted. I meant to jump. That's okay. That's okay. I just sprinted the Medusa into danger. Great. To go. <laughs> oh. Having a good one over here, Rob. Having a good one. Uh-huh. 
I have to imagine that their contract was to keep me from winning for at least 10 rounds, and they've just done such a good job. Light damage. Yeah. No, they, like, I hope these guys got paid. Yeah, they deserve it. And, like, you know, we're insured. Yeah. And ejected in time. Hopefully. Let's get rid of the striker. That should do it. Did not do it. Missed on the second one. That's good. I was thinking as long as they both hit, as long as one of them hits the front or one of them hits the, the two of them hit the side, it would be fine. But, oh well. See, these guys are so good. I think they just become like one with their equipment. Right. And that's why we can't get a lock on them. We lost an arm. Much as Yorinaga Kirita and uh, Morgan Kell did. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Kill this thing. I can't believe we lost an arm. God damn it. We'll replace that now. Really? You can't believe that a blackjack lost an <laughs> arm in combat? <laughs> what are the odds? A blackjack got dismembered. Uh, oh my god, that's wild. That, that never happens to a blackjack. Never. Its arms are so strong. It's, they're such strong, strong arms normally. You know? Just shoot this fucking thing. And this and this terrible misery game that we're part of. Engaging with target. Nope. Okay. Kind of expected that. That's fine. I get this to be any better. No, no elevated stuff here. It's enough to get line of sight. All right. Let's take the 65s. release us from this hell glitch. God. Nope. Tire fire will. Go step on this thing, please. Engaging physical attack. There it is. All right. Surgical strike. <laughs> you certainly, you sent certainly them sent them a message. <laughs> You, uh, you certainly sent them a message, Commander. Uh, Commander, I think we can chalk this one up as a moral <laughs> victory. Oh, my God. That was just some good Smash Mouth Battletech action. <laughs> That's what that was. We, we, None of this West Coast nonsense. Well done, Commander. We obviously placed our faith in the right mercenary company. We'll let you know if we have any other oh my God. for you. Wow. And that's that's the local planetary government. Yeah. That's not like not even that's nobody. No, it's nobody. It's not a and Medusa's out for 17 days. Woo! The hangover. Oh boy. Oh, we can complete this locust if we want to. Nothing fancy down there. The AC 20s might be better, honestly. The AC 20s are worth like actual cash money. But a completed locust will be. Yeah, too. it's still worth more. Damn it, I was hoping it would toss us an AC-20. The planetary government, the planetary government was not feeling that generous. No. Look, so, have uh, some jump jets. Yeah. Since you guys love cowering behind a ridge so <laughs> Boss, should we uh, give them like a, one of the AC-20s for just like a good fate? No! No! We're never working with these guys again. Don't... Give them a locust. <laughs> the, locust the Locust 1M model is interesting. And that it can churn out a decent volley of LRMs for just a, for such a small mech. <laughs> it's a great harasser. There are no great harassers. Especially uh -oh. if you can use its speed to lob missiles into the weaker rear armor of targets. But normally, it has almost no armor itself. Yeah, that's a, that's a great use case. Like, yeah. just, you know what? Run deep into that enemy, enemy formation. Yep. And uh, if you just don't get hit, you're going to really kick ass. Just really just nail it. God. All right, let's sell this thing. We sell that thing and buy ourselves. And we buy Highlander, Highlander part. Just one, just one <laughs> leg. You know, it's not the worst. We're gonna see them eventually. It's a statue. <laughs> just, we're just gonna put that Highlander. I don't leg even know how in I... the middle of the Argo. God. Just... <laughs> Fragile. <laughs> 
It's not even like my favorite assault class mech. There's so many other better things we can spend that money on. But that's true. Carl okay. Carl Dasalama says in the chat, uh, it's aspirational. You know? Absolutely. One day, we'll look back and say, I'm glad I bought that Highlander part. Let's do it. This is, no, no, wait, Austin, no. Let's do it. No. Except. So basically now we're this 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 BattleTech campaign is becoming the one piece at a time song by Johnny Cash. Yes, a hundred percent. We're just we are gonna get ourselves that luxury battle mech. Alright, and we have to leave here. This was a, this is a boondoggle because now they're like sending us back in the direction of worse missions. Yeah, so we just gotta keep moving, you know what, just keep moving deeper yeah. into this yeah. uh, that's what I'm gonna do. Uh Let's plot that course. Bait Noir, gather the whole crew to come look at the legs. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we could travel contract back to Weldry, no, I guess. That. You're saying we just punch to. No. Fjold oh, you want us to go all the way around? No, no look, I'm saying we go deeper into this. This? This space, yeah. This is all bad. These no, are all it's lower. Not. These are all level twos. We go it's up. not forget first of all that that thing we just fought was a level two and look what happened yeah second of all there's good shit down here there's stuff we can buy we already found one highlander leg it, what if the other highlander legs are, it's like coro seed okay how did we turn into an a like how are we doing american pickers now just in a spaceship there's good shit down here this is listen people go into storage facilities here and they just leave their whole lives i found a chevrolet in a storage facility once down here like you just you don't know what's here, okay? Like people don't, people have Starlink shit, they don't even know it. They don't even they don't know they don't know what it is. They don't know what it they is. They think like, oh, well, what's this? I think I think it's just I don't know. It must be some piece of like, you know. You want it to a, go to what? You want it to go to Adrar? It's a ruined and pol it's ruined and polluted. What do you want to go to? You want to go to what do you uh, think's beneath those ruins? Nothing. Primitive Good shit. Primitive civilization, Rob. Primitive Classic. civilization. Would you call? the classical greeks primitive yes we can find the mech equivalent of a hoplite shield a treasure from a more oh my god a more rarefied era where do you want us to go you want us to go to zathras is that what you want us to go yeah actually Zathras seems, Starly this one's actually seems all right but it's 28 yeah. days away no yeah so you don't go there but you find you find a nice reasonable uh thing you want to go to fucking Lin Haguin, it's uninhabited. No one lives there. It's barren. But it's a battlefield. There's bunches of shit there, I bet. That's possible. I'm looking for anything that's... We could just jump Ooh. to, to Paya. Yeah. But they're unfounded. They're unfounded. But what if they just didn't find it? What if they didn't find the lost tech, but we will? Okay. You see what I'm saying? Okay, maybe we don't go to that one. Okay, well, what about, uh, this is the unfortunate one. Wreckage. All right, what about, um, what about the uh, spinward side of the, uh, of the map? Like this way? What do we? I actually don't know which where we are in the galaxy, so I can't actually say which is spin and which is. Is spin uh, out? Are we on the uh, south? Yeah, actually, wait. I can't remember which one is coreward or, or spin. Yeah, just like, south. Okay. Yeah, I'll uh -huh. just say south. Lots of places have a south. Um, we go to Portland. <laughs> Here they got good bookstores there, Rob. Rock Rockwell. What? Rockwell. Let's go to Rockwell. Rock Rockwellowin. That's a bad name. These places Rich. all suck. No, but they're all shitty. Like, if we're going to do this, we need to commit and eventually punch into Torian space, right? Well, eventually someone's just going to be like, yo, we got another mission for you, you need to come do it. Right, and that's going to be here, Rob. We're going to yeah. have to do that here, and that's a far way back. And yeah, we could just so go there little, now. One more little, no, no, it was one more little detour. Okay. We go here to, to, to Fjalder. They love us no, there. 
there's nothing awesome in the Arana Restoration territory. I like, know. There's no good loot there. If you like, because they're taking the, it off of it. Let's go to this little. Let's go to the. Let's go to this place that people thought there was gold and there wasn't. Hell yeah! You know what? And I'm we're sold. gonna find it. Fuck it. Well, look. I mean, the thing is, like, yeah, a lot of prospectors did. Like, nobody got like nobody had a major gold strike. Very few people did. Right, which but means it's still, still out made there. Money. And it's still out there waiting for us to find it. Let's upgrade. Let's fix that blackjack. There could be like little pieces of lost tech in the streams. Exactly. We just gotta find it for <laughs> us. Fucking Highlander leg in your pan. <laughs> just <laughs> it's waiting for you. That's the good shit. I'm not putting that M laser plus on this fucking piece of shit. Your time for this world is, is short, Blackjack. I'll let you know when that's done. Well, what boss. If we dumped the AC2. Off the Blackjack? Yeah, put an AC5 on. It's a bad mech, Rob. But a good gun. It's a great gun. I don't think a good gun can save a bad mech. Yeah, but, but right now we, we don't have a ton of mechs. We have four good ones. Fine. Um, what's the next cheap one of these? I think there's another 90k somewhere in here. We could do the structural yeah. repair. What's this actually do? D nothing like in terms of just like immediate benefit, but it's cheaper than that 900k one. Yikes. Uh, yeah. The and I think wait, it's the lounge actually is a good purchase. It is, but it's it's expensive. Yeah, but no, but think about how much it saves us not having like it lets us take the things down from extravagant to generous. True. We pay two hundred twenty five once. True. All right, let's do it. And we get to cut everyone's salary. Sorry, I mean uh, redeploy company resources oh, boy. Uh, into uh -huh. making the yep. workspace more welcoming and yep. uh, homey. Mm -hmm. Run the clock. Look, we're not like those other Battletech companies. We have a foosball table. <laughs> we want people to be excited to be a mech warrior. That's true. We do. All right. Moonlighting with an auto cannon. Okay. While pacing okay. through the mech that bay. That would be a great TV show. It, I would watch that. Yeah, it Nick. would be. While pacing through the mech bay on a sleepless night, you stumble across Glitch. She's fiddling with a stock auto cannon. A, jumble, uh, a jumbled pile of loose metal and wire litters the deck. Plating litters the litter mm, wire litters the deck plating around her. There we go. As you approach, Glitch looks up, a sheepish grin on her face. Uh, hello, Commander. I was just trying to tune this beauty, maybe get a little more performance out of her. Could you do me a favor and keep this from the chief, though? He's already shooed me out of here once this week. Absolutely, Glitch. Bust that thing wide open. Just fuck with it. Don't tell anyone what you did. You like that AC5, huh? I suppose <laughs> I suppose that was in storage for a reason, so we can afford to lose it if things go wrong. Oh, this is, oh, this is me. Sorry. Just be careful. These weapons are meant to destroy mechs, after all. Later that week, Glitch catches you in the hall, but doesn't look at you in the eyes. Commander, I'm sorry to report that I wasn't able to modify that weapon like I wanted to, and I wasn't able to put it back together again. I already told the chief, and he raked me over the coals. Wait. No, no more than I deserve, though. She just blew up an Which AC5. Which AC5 did she break? Just a regular one. Just a regular okay. one. Just a regular one. That would be very funny if it was the good one. And now she has low spirits. Great. Thanks. Thanks, Glitch. Don't never let someone named Glitch work on your shit. I don't know. Maybe it's ironic. Like calling like a big guy tiny. Right. Yeah, of course. Oh, my God. Great. Hey, we got a lounge. Top notch work, if I may say so. Uh, we got great news about your benefits, fam. <laughs> All right, let's hit the structural repair. It'll take a bit, but we'll get it done. You know what I love? We're gonna get there and do a mission before this financial report hits. Uh, what time is it? Let's see. It's one seventeen. We got a little time. One of those podcasts has been uh, oh, nice okay, for, for, today. For, the, for for today, okay. Yeah, gotcha. Let's see what's in the so shop. If you, if you want to do it on a mission and really just go and hard. really go hard on it, yeah. I don't know yeah. fives. Okay, I'm fifteens. Okay, I'm fifteen plus plus. So that's I'd like to see that's those good. pluses. That's pretty good. 
no Highlander leg. Like, what's even the point? See, look at all this hardware. See, I told you this place would be good. Yeah, uh huh. What are our contracts here? All right, I got for a moment. I was like, what if there's nothing here? Oh Jesus Christ, we're not ready for this yet. And oh, that looks awesome. Uh, Palins are always a fun client. Yeah. Love to work for the galaxies like dastardly Dan. Uh huh. Uh, da, 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 hard line against Capellan. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Authorized military inter interdiction of assets and resources. Weird. Okay. Uh, <laughs> theft can't go unpunished. Destroy a factory, you know. And uh, like an ice factory. That sounds fun. That's doable. Or we could, yeah. Or we could fight more mercs. A well regarded Boy, that in the heat desert. Sucks, no, I'm though. good. I feel a For lot now, let's, blazing away. Yeah, let's go into a polar region and you know get get our uh, get back onto our feet a little bit. Um, let's level up also as we continue to to play here. Uh, I think we we're doing Ace Pilot for Medusa, which feels right to me. So let's keep moving in that direction. Uh, tire fire is getting there now with. Uh, is going to end up being what? Gunnery and... Oh, wait, whoops, I got that backwards. I thought Ace Pilot was gunnery, but it's Yeah, I was not. a little confused by you going... God damn it. <laughs> I want Medusa to be a great pilot. Moves straight to the gunnery track. Yeah. Hit the range. Yeah, I fucked that up. Uh, that's all right. I mean, eventually Medusa's going to be... Standing by. Is going to be... going to be a triple threat. A triple threat, exactly. Uh, actually, maybe that was right anyway. I think we are going that way with Medusa eventually because we weren't going to go we melee. We sure ain't going to be an ace pilot. Well, yeah, definitely not. <laughs> that was never on the table at that point. No. So, uh, tire fire could be, though. Tire fire could be that. Or tire fire could continue down breaching shot and be, also be a breaching shotter. Um, Commander? Glitch is getting there on, on breaching shot also, but I think Master Tactician might be the play. So Decker is going Master Tactician. Decker is definitely going Master Tactician. Right? Good to go. Yeah. Receiving you. Yeah, I think that that's Waiting right. For Waiting for orders. And then we should go. I mean that extra max evasion will be good now. So let's take that now. Uh, what can I do for you? We're just so close here on this that like getting to where we want to make you a just decision. Want to hold on to it. Well, no, just like we, right now she should make a decision on gunnery or tactics. We should yeah. pick the one that's her lead one and stick with it. Right now she's been our like missile boat person. Yeah. Yeah, like, I've so uh, rarely so used breaching which shot. Is the case thing. Pardon? I so rarely use breaching shot because it's shoot with a single weapon to ignore cover. Yeah. Um, but you know what? Decker has that PPC. Oh, Decker isn't. That's not online for Decker at all. So I guess long term, the idea could be giving Medusa big single shot weapons and giving him breaching shot. And then yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna march her towards towards this tactical mastery. Um, yeah. And I think I'm also going to march Decker that way, because Decker is definitely not going to get... Uh, you know, Ace Pilot's a pretty fun one, maybe, for Decker. Could, could maybe, you know... Mm, you know, because I guess the Ace Pilot thing there is, like, takes the damage and then backs off, you know? Or, or moves into damage on one turn, moves into range on one turn, shoots. Next turn, yeah. shoots, and then moves away, right? I could see, yeah, a shoot-and-scoot tactic seems very Decker. Yeah. Oh, good call. Good call, Wealthy Aardvark. The key is that breaching shot and multi-target. I'm doing that on my main character. My main character um, at home does have breaching shot, and or obviously they have both. It's like you can target three different things with breaching shot, and each one will ignore cover or, and guard it. So that's a good point. Um. Receiving you. Waiting for orders. I hear ya. Receiving you. Let's keep marching, Deckard. Hmm. Oh, that is a sad little theme on the it is. Battletech score there. 
It really is. Decker knows that he cannot master all the yeah, battle, I'm gonna the, keep... the Mech Warriors arts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep marching in that direction there. Uh, all right, that's all spent basically. Um, our Mech Bay is ready. Let's take one of these missions. Let's see who we can hire just to see real quick. I don't think we've checked in the hiring hall in a minute. Uh, ooh, Snowbird. Uh, yeah, look at that. You have skills oh, did, already. Wait, did, it, did Snowbird say, uh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, we might need to hire him. Let's see. What are your orders, Skipper? Oh, man. Snowbird, I am picking up what you were putting down. Yes, Commander. Confirm. Mercenary recruit, mercenary corporal. Karita commoner, you know? Oh, what's up, boss? All right, Iguana, you're not it. You don't, you don't, no. Iguana, you gotta be a little more confident. You gotta be like Snowbird, who says stuff like... Ready to rock. Stop. See? Oh, Snowbird. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Classic Snowbird. Are you kidding me? That's Snowbird. How about you, Glide? How you doing? Standing by. All right, what about Snowbird? Uh, Skipper. Yeah, that's you, Snowbird. What's up, Snowbird? <laughs> Cypher, how about you? How are you feeling? Order. All right, that's, you know, I'm just to the point. You're not as uh, jovial and friendly as Snowbird, who says stuff like... What are your orders, Skipper? See? He's put that little... four, good buddy. <laughs> there it is. Snowbird, you come with us, Snowbird. Let's check it with Ripley one more time. Standing by. Not as good. I mean, I kind of like the draw. There's a little bit of something there. You can tell you're an enlisted Navy man, but you're no Snowbird. Skipper. Love it. You know what? You're coming with us. And look, Snowbird can shoot. Snowbird can fucking shoot a gun. Uh, yeah, uh-huh. Uh, yeah. What's, what's Snowbird's... Uh, uh-huh. Melissa Rush, okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, Karina Commoner, Mercenary Corporal, Spacer, Inner Sphere, Command Experience? Melissa, you're killing it right look now. At, look at those cards. Look, all his, all his officers got wasted totally. in one of his fights. He had to take command. Uh, yeah. And look, he wasn't even next in command. But people just look to Snowbird. Snowbird. Because everyone else is freaking out. And Snowbird's like, well, well, what we got here, boys? That's it. I love you, Snowbird. Uh, all right, let's do this mission. Let's do it. Uh, which one are we doing? <laughs> Sending a message, right? Yeah. Uh... And, they, and Marina always makes me feel special. There are yeah. few mercenaries. House Lao trusts with tasks like this, Commander. Makes certain our faith is not misplaced. We can both profit from this. There we go. Hey, you know what? I get the sense Marina is freelancing. Yeah, I don't a think, little bit. I don't think we're actually bit. being hired a by little House Lao. Yeah. Uh, just a little, just trying to make a little money. You know what, Glitch? I love you, Glitch, but uh, I'm going to have to try to tag you out for a second here. Here's what I want to do. I think we're going to move some stuff around. Let's see. Who has good tactics? Uh, Decker, you get to sit in the leg day today. Congratulations, buddy. And, uh, we get to pull this blackjack out and put the Shadowhawk back in. Um, and then all that good gunnery, all that good gunnery, you know I'm going to give it to Snowbird. Put Snowbird in that dang vind Vindicator. I think. Yeah. Or maybe the Snowbird go in the Shadowhawk. Bir nah. Bird's right in the name, Rob. Look, the Shadowhawk needs... Shadowhawk needs... Medusa. A, a pilot. Yeah, true. Like a pilot's pilot. Yeah, no, you give Snowbird a place to stand... Take some shots. We'll get it done. Get it done. All right. Look, like, Medusa in yeah. the Shadowhawk wants to fly with the Snowbird. I gotcha. I gotcha. That's exactly it. Uh, here's what I love. I actually really like this this high gunnery... High Guts is like very much a sniper yeah. build, which Behemoth Shit, is also I need a beer. Old. Hold on. Snowbird's uh. got me fired up. <laughs> oh boy, I'm gonna Woo! I'm gonna deploy. <laughs> God. What I miss? Nothing. We're just getting ready to deploy. <laughs> Bloody Staple says, "L.A. Rob is here." Oh, uh, you know what I'm excited about? I'm excited for Snowbird to see the way we we do things around here. You know, Snowbird has experience, but but you know, 
Is it a Last Embers experience? I don't know. Tire Fire, Fire frantically giving like a secret briefing to everyone else on this mission. <laughs> Guys, like really, we can't fuck this up like last time. I want Snowbird <laughs> to think we're cool. <laughs> just don't look. Just. Guys, just call me Skipper for this mission, okay? Just make it seem like thing. we all do Skipper. Yes, Commander. I'm Skipper too. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone loves Skipper. All right, let's figure this thing out. What are we doing? Destroying buildings? Hell yeah. You know we do. Aye, aye. You got it. So why can't Leg Day just shell the shit out of this place with blind fire? That's, That's the real my play, I think. All right, Decker. What do we got? On my way. Hey, Snowbird. Post up. Affirmative, Commander. There you go. There you go. You trying to impress me with words like commander? Sensors have something. Ah, oh, Snowbird. What did he say? Sensors like, have boss, something. Boss. Boss. Something. Sensors have something. All right. Oh hell yeah! God damn! I love Snowbird. <laughs> I'm so happy about Snowbird. Snowbird is in his own buddy cop movie right now. Yep. Like, everyone else is in, like, fucking Band of Brothers. Snowbird, Bad Boys 2. Bad Boys 2. Yep. Orders. All right, we got some turrets. We got not some Bad Boys 1. Bad Boys bad 1, boys. not a good movie. Not a good movie. Bad Boys 2? Mmm, Bad Boys 2. All right, Medusa, you got your Shadowhawk back. You're out of the fucking Blackjack. Commander. Let's show them what we can do, huh? Uh, yep. <laughs> it just makes me happy. I th look, I think canonically, Snowbird's from New England. Oh, yeah. But it's been to the South, too. You know, spent summers or something. Yeah. Spent winters. All right, let's get rid of the Shredder Terror. Oh, well, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's why he's a Snowbird. Right, right. Target. Yes. Target. All right, there we go. No after turrets. he finishes, after he finishes, uh, you know, lobstering for the season. Yep. He just goes down there and gets some. Uh, what do they got down there? Crawfish. That seems like a thing. That seems sure. like a thing. Crawfish. Love it. You know, I'll eat some crawfish. God damn, I'll eat some crawfish. Uh, let's start popping, hitting them buildings. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Snowbird. Snowbird. <laughs> oh. I think this is medium reinforced building. What's that thing's damage? A hundred? Uh, can we kill that? No. Uh, can we kill this one? No, they're both a hundred. All right. You know what? Just take a shot at this one. Firing. Enemy structure damage commander. Hell yeah! Good shots. Waiting for orders. Decker. Got it. Decker's like, I have a lot of LRM suddenly. <laughs> Decker's nervous because, like, he's feeling like Snowbird's biting his style a little bit. A little bit. Like, he's like, I was the party in this Lance. <laughs> but ever since he had that good mission, he's been a little more serious. And yeah. so, like, Decker's at this crossroads. Like, is he going to continue the being the fun loving guy? Like, is he going to try to match Snowbird mm -hmm. for, like, party animalness? Or is he going to, like, get serious like Maverick does? Like Maverick does, yeah. Is it time to be, be an adult? Grow up a little bit, you know? We're gonna be halfway through destroying this facility by the time their mechs even get to us. And that's what I like to say. Here, here, not say. Hey, it's cold here, fire all those lasers, tire fire. Show, show uh, Snowbird what fun looks like. There you go. They've got a lock on me. That's fine. All right, that's fine. Yeah, it wasn't so bad. Holding firm. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, they're getting fancy. They're trying to come around on us like that? Okay. Ooh. Big moves.
All right. Ready to rock. Is a panther charging us again? Yeah. That is happening. Ready for orders. Yeah, you know what? Medusa gets up there and sorts that shit out. But does Medusa sort that shit out? Uh, what if Decker locks and Medusa sorts them out? That sounds fun. Yeah, think, yeah, yeah. You think that's what it is? You think it's a lock here, not a? Yeah, because we we need to burn off those two peps. Yeah. Like, it's the most efficient thing to. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Um. What are your orders, Skipper? No, not you, not you, buddy. Receiving your... I mean, maybe also you. We'll see in a second, but. No, we must protect you for now, though. I'm a little worried, so I should. Medusa, go up there and make sure it's safe for Snowbird. <laughs> There's actually the. Uh, can I? Can Medusa just go over here and make sure it's safe for Snowbird? Yeah, hell of a shot. Yeah, hell of a yeah. shot. Engaging jump check. Uh, yeah, can, yeah, yeah. Actually, we have full. We could. We could open up on this thing. That's only a nine there, huh? No, no. What about that leg? What that leg's juicy? That leg is juicy. It's a juicy leg. Cut that leg right off. Let Snowbird finish it off, huh? Yeah. Expose that right leg. Hmm. Didn't destroy. Oh, expose the whole right side. That's good. That's good. Snowbird. Hey, Snowbird. Can you hop over there and knock that dang thing over? Yeah, 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 Snowbird. Copy that. All right, well, you missed. That's okay. Ah, yeah, Snowbird! Knockdown! He hit what he needed to. Yep! <gasps> oh, now Tire Fire gets to go. Knock that son of a bitch straight on his ass. Yep. God, I wish he said it. Oh, uh, what are we doing here? Where, what do you got in the sides here? You got lasers in the sides? Wait, come on, give it, give it back. Nothing in the arm. Jump jets over there. Nothing there. Where are your lasers at? Are they all center torso? Yeah, okay. Well, it's been nice knowing you, spider. I'm just gonna kill you though. Oh, maybe it lives. It does live, but continues to take heavy damage. All right, snipe away. This gonna be a locust. What is this? Not in range. Okay. Oh. Good use. Yeah. All right, but we're gonna just come around that corner and light it up. Yeah. What are your orders, Skipper? Uh, what are my orders? Drew four four eight four. The average mech warrior eats three spiders per year. Uh. I think we send Medusa down to figure out what's going on down here. Yeah. Apparently passed through a geothermal. That's not great. That's all right. It's still polar. To spiders, two spiders. Uh, which one do we hit here? The one I can actually hit. Well, what are you thinking? Uh, the, the threefer is easier. And then you precision strike it. You knock it back in initiative. Yeah. Eh, but we still only have threes, don't we? Yeah. So it will still go first. It'll still go first. Unless you knock it back. True. Uh, this one's on rough terrain, which means it takes extra stability damage. Hmm. We're it's... playing for the knockdown. We are playing for the knockdown. In that case, it'll. Do you think I should precision strike it? Precision strike it, yeah. yeah. Legs or dump it in the chest and just get the kill, maybe, you know? How many hit points are on the legs? How, many, how much, how hard do you need uh, to hit the leg? 
Not hard. Not that hard. Not that hard. 50, 50 is a leg. 70 to kill it in the torso is the thing. There's a chance we could just core it. Yeah, but... I like the leg play. Mm. I'm gonna try the... Mm, I'm gonna try the core. Yeah, come on. Nope, didn't get it. God damn it, you were right. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. What's up, boss? I think Snowbird, what's Snowbird do here? Snowbird doesn't have jump jets. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, Snowbird can get the knockdown here. Snowbird is flightless. Oh, sorry, that's right. Sorry, no, Snowbird has jump jets. I, I take it back. What a terrible thing I said. Of course Snowbird has jump jets. Uh, but actually, Snowbird doesn't need them, I, I don't think. I think Snowbird can walk up or... Does Snowbird need them? To death from above this sitting spider. Now, I know what you're thinking. That's a huge waste of resources. <laughs> Massive, one might say. Counter argument. It's cool as shit. Uh, I actually think maybe we just walk backwards here and we pop this with the, the direct fire weapons and then LRM, the one that's a little yeah. rocky. You know? I'm on him. Whew. Oof. That was burning that burning that evasion off. Decker. Just show off a little, Decker, please. Acknowledged. Engaging. You gotta say cooler stuff than that now, Decker. Come on. Ooh, head hit. Yeah. All right. All right, here we go. I feel like tire fire at this point is the, the equivalent of like the star athlete on the team who maybe doesn't, maybe doesn't shout out uh, enough of like what the rest of the team has done to set them up to score, you know? Uh, you, you think tire fire is just playing for career stats? Yeah, kind of like I'm about to get these kills or at least one of these kills maybe. Mm, you know what? I'll do three on on A. I oh, didn't get the Tire kill. Tire fighting to get those reps at garbage time. Yeah. Whew. Love to just tear all the way through the chest armor. They missed so badly yeah. that I did not even see any incoming I, fire. Yeah, that was really rough for them. That's why reverse slopes are powerful. Yep. <laughs> all right, all right, hit Medusa a little bit. That's fine. Barely hit, Commander. I'm a little worried about the Panther. What if the Panther comes up and immediately kills Snowbird? <laughs> All right, did not do that. I'm showing minor I mean, it'd be pretty funny. It would have been really funny. Just like, boom, PPC headshot, character dead. Hey, yup. Hey, yup. Like, what am I supposed to say? That I don't love Snowbird? Of course I love Snowbird. Thank you. Okay. Boom. Let's just see what our, our LRM percentages are. Terrible on everything else. So you're gonna solo shoot this this spider, I think. That feels like such overkill. It feels like such overkill. Just Fuck do it. it. Just do it. Yeah. Get Snowbird a kill. I'm on him. Yeah. Didn't get the kill. Didn't get the kill. Huh. <laughs> you like that? I did though. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, Snowbird. Oh, it's running, okay. 
Yeah, that was the right play because it hadn't moved yet. Good to go. Um. Receiving you. God, there's a lot of pips on that thing now. Not as many pips on that panther though. You know, I'm not saying it's the best move. I'm not saying it. I'm not saying that, but it feels to me like Medusa has a lot to prove these days. This feels right. You know? Although, man, straight onto that geothermal. Oh, yeah. Roger. No fear, Medusa. Come on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. Oh, there that's we go. Good. That's there good. There we go. Inspired. In yes. Absolutely. Or that was inspiring. That's what you want to see. Orders? That's it. What, what wrestling move was that, Austin? What? Like the, the equivalent of it? Yeah. I what, think, what did we just witness? I think that was just like a very firm DDT. You just like grab someone by the neck and like plant their head head first into the ground. Because it happened so quick. That wasn't like yeah. a, a big setup maneuver. That's a good shadow hawk right there. <laughs> Takes a pet, no problem. Uh... <laughs> Uh, everyone should follow Bodega Cats on, on Twitter, is what I'm going to say. Um, great cat. That's a great cat right there. Takes a pet, no problem. All right, pushed it back one, so I think we're going to actually get to go before that panther. Oh, in fact, is it even going to make it out of this, this round? Let's see. You know, I'm pretty happy with how this build on the uh, Jaeger mech is working out. Yeah, I say. yeah, your, your right? impulse to just go all he heavy lasers. It's so fun because you just get these like huge barrages that just surgically slice things up. Right, it's not a finicky asshole like the uh, multi AC right default. Right. All right, doing all right. Not much armor. Who is Snowbird, says I'm Weasel. Snowbird is Snowbird. You'll know his name. Okay, okay, I see you. Confirmed. Hell yeah, you confirmed. Does the bird fly too? Does the bird fly too? Hey Rob, does the bird fly too? Oh boy, I, I sure don't know. <laughs> Statistically, it doesn't. It's more of a tiny wing situation. Bird flies too. Destroyed the right torso. Did some good damage and got a knockdown. There you go. Which knocks it back further, so we get another round to kill it. Oh, the next round, Snowbird's like, hey there, buddy, let me give you a hand up. <laughs> but then he doesn't, he and doesn't. it falls back down. That's it, the end for that guy. <laughs> I'm here. Oh, man. This is about to be a tag team play. Oh, it's a tag team play. That's a tag team finisher right there. From the top rope. Whoo! That's a kill. They are the best. Look at that. Just screenshot of that. <laughs> I Fuck. missed it. I missed it. But the game, you know what? We're recording this. It's on it's on a website. We can see that whenever we want. You just need to position them tactically to have the most like broy glory shots possible. Yes. Yep. Uh, I'm furious that this game doesn't have um uh, that this mech does not have, uh, or that this game doesn't have the XCOM feature. Uh, I'm gonna precision strike this thing. Just end it, please. Oh, nice work, Decker. What a good turn that was. That's a kill. And Tire Fire, can you uh, go shoot something, maybe? Maybe? Maybe not. Maybe you cannot actually shoot anything from here, huh? That's all right. Get that new fifth sprint pip on you. And get rid of that heat. 
Yeah, the action, the after action cam is, is really what I'm talking about. The uh, the poster feature of um, XCOM 2. Roger. Acknowledge. Good hit. Wow. Hey, they're just a good team. That, yeah. I got you. There it is. There's that. Also good. Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, uh, yep. Can you just take shots from here? Can we just end this? Snowbird, blow that up. Copy that. Man, Snowbird is the uh, Morgan Hasekdavian to uh, <laughs> Medusa's Andy Redburn. Thank you. Trash, <laughs> uh, can you get within range of anything? Tire fire? Probably not. No? Go ahead and brace. Standing by. There you go. You can in the Shadow Hawk. On it. Ooh, enemy contact, huh? Oh, it's another. It's uh, it's one of those. Well, we're gonna blow up this this thing anyway, so. Acknowledge. Good hit. Medusa is to try to get that turret in on uh, on camera. There we go. Oh, still not there, huh? Okay. I'm on it. Is that mission? Time to bug out. Oh yeah. Get to the LZ for extraction. I don't think we even need to do that. I think we just blow up that turret this turn. Cool. That's that, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna have Decker, uh, oh, is it just shy? It is. I'm not gonna be able to sensor lock it, probably. I think it's just outside of my sensor lock range, even if I move. That's all right, next turn. Let's blow that thing up. Copy that. All right, brace. Uh, yo. <laughs> it's just so fun. Yeah, yeah, the Centurion doesn't have, that's my one thing I'm missing on, on, uh, Decker in that machine. Oh, they actually have two turrets out here. Now that I've run up here, I can see it. It's all right. What are your orders, Skipper? Gotta come this way anyway, so. There you go. Good job, Medusa. Oh, hell yeah. It's on now. <laughs> you weren't even involved in that play, Snowbird. You're so excited. <laughs> That's a team player right there. Snowbird's as excited for everybody else to be scoring as he is for That's, himself. You're right. Great. You're right. Team player. Uh -huh. Oh, was that not? Okay. Okay. I sprinted. Oh, you know what? There we go. Yeah, Snowbird. Like sometimes Snowbird's going to give up on the layout so you can have a sweet jam. Exactly. <laughs> Won't always work out in your favor. But it's always a good time. Tire fire cleanup. And boom. That was, that's a good, that's a good mission right there. Sure was. There we go. Perfect. Rob, that was a good Mecha Monday, I think. Yep. Got a great new member of the crew. 100%.
Let's a see breakout what, star. I'm, honestly, we've needed a, we need a little bit of a, like an injection of energy for a while now, and we got one. Uh, take this panther part, probably. Man, what a dog shit salvage was. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. I think it's one of the spiders, too. Great. We picked tire fire. Yeah, we made tire fire, but that's it. Oh, no, you know what? Tire fire was generated. Tire fire was generated. I, I came up with Castellica Kendricks, which is their name. Um, but the... Oh, yeah, there's the, the new Arano one. But, uh, but tire fire was a random roll. Because we were like, wow, that's cool. All right, our morale's at 32. We could drop it down now to generous and still, still be a good one. Yeah, let's do that. We have a new person. You know, the money has to go a little further now. New member of yeah. the team, so... That seems and fair. Snowbird is just like he is the morale boost. Exactly. And exactly. that gives us more money for upgraded LRMs. It does. Or maybe even a new large laser for. Uh, yeah. That's just a flat, good large laser. We can large do it all. Yep. We can have it all. We can. Do we actually have LRM 15s on anything right now? No. I think it's all LRM 10s, right? I think so. Um, yeah, those are all. But I'm 10s. sure we got something coming. Yeah. Did we buy or we it? can uh, sort of tweak Tinker. the load out on yeah. like day. Yeah. Because like two LRM 15s equals three LRM. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I gotcha. Extra stability damage, extra crit. Both sound good to me. Do LRM still roll crit on every missile or only on the first missile? Because if it's every missile, this is a no brainer. I do not know. It's a good question. Did we grab him? Or do you think we or do you think we hold off here? Oh, I grab him. All right. Like stuff like for the double uh like rarity uh indicators, like at that point right. I just kind of buy that shit just to have it. Yeah. Cause it is a little harder to come by. It is. It definitely is. It, especially the at this plus point. ones are nothing. I will say that this is a much different here's the difference though. Right now we have these LRM tens. Which, oh no, it's the same, it's the same. It's the same ranges, right? Okay, it's the same ranges as the 10s. Yes, 180, 420, 630. 180, 420, 630. Yeah, fuck it. New weapon systems available. Yeah, let's do it. Awesome. All right, we need to make money. Is the thing we got to do. Uh, so, probably run one more mission here and then go do Arano's thing, huh? Yeah. Uh, whew, that's Okay. Uh, all right, so next time we play, we'll do the clean out the mercs, and then we'll go to Liberation Panzer. That's what my suggestion is. Well, where's Weakest Link? Uh, good question. Um, Liarton. Let's take a peek. That's close, I think. I mean, it's definitely close-ish. It's in our neighborhood. The it's question the is, mission. is it? Is it? Yeah. Oh, it it's is. Right there. Nice. Awesome. So we it's could right on the way. We could do both of those. We can do one, two, and then three. Go in and do the actual priority mission. Yeah. yeah one, research. Bop, bop. What's, what's research mean? I don't know. I don't know what research means. Oh, that's that sounds good. Okay, sure. Great. Investigate those. This things. was once the foremost Highlander Research Institute uh -huh. in the entire Inner Sphere. Yeah. Uh huh. That's you know it's right there. We just missed it a little bit. That's all. Not a big deal. It's not that big of a deal that we missed that and went to the Dust Bowl instead, you know? I don't think yeah. so anyway. Uh, all right, I think that's going to do it for us today. Uh, again, so next time we come back, note for our note to self, we're going to do just need a little spending money. I think we're going to clean out the mercs here. Should be a light, easy one. Just get all that cash, then hop over to Weakest Link, and that'll be a harder fight, but hopefully give some good uh, salvage, and it'll bring us there. It'll bring us to Lyrton halfway there, and then we'll do the Liberation Panzer one after that. All right. Thanks again, everybody. Follow me on Twitter at Austin underscore Walker. Where can people follow you, Rob? At Rob Zachney. Awesome. Uh, you can find everything Waypoint does, twitter.com slash waypoint, facebook.com slash waypoint vice, right here at twitch.tv slash waypoint, and find archives over at youtube.com slash waypoint vice. We will be back uh, tomorrow with a hot mic morning, and I think we're going to, I'm going to uh, probably do a little bit of uh, No Man's Sky since that hits tomorrow. Uh, maybe with a guest. We'll see. We'll figure it out. Uh, until then, that's going to do it for us. Peace. You know.